It got pretty bad um, on, I'd say about Monday or Tuesday last week, we started noticing kind of smoky air, and then I'd say we woke up Friday morning, and it was like really bad. My scooter seat was covered in ash. Uh, it's just like really hard to breathe. We did a kick set and I was like way slower than usual so I was just like I need to get out of here. So uh, I took a flight down on Sunday and I'm going to be at San Diego I guess for the next few days just to get some good training in without any bad oxygen issues. I don't know anyone personally that's been affected by it but just seeing people walking around on campus with face masks on. I, mean, I know a lot of people that have kind of asthma or uh, other breathing related diseases and issues like that, they have to wear those masks or else they're not going to be able to get through their day to day and I just can't even imagine what it's like up at the actual fires. I think I'm just really looking forward to getting and racing with Ryan and Matt. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of college guys there too, but um, I haven't raced them since Worlds so it's kind of fun to see where we're all at. Short course meets so there's not too much pressure, but really exciting to get back in the yards pool and just race a bunch of different guys in a bunch of different events. Usually I get to do uh, 800 free relay or 200 free, something like that, where it's not usually what I do long course, so it'll be fun. Budapest was incredible. Uh, it was obviously nice to come home with a medal for the country, um, but this, the team vibe was so different from the Olympics. It was a lot, I feel like everyone was kind of on the same level versus the Olympics. There was like, this guy was who to follow. This is kind of like a tier system, but I feel like in world at Worlds, um, everyone was really trying to like become that leader, that next take that next step to push on the, the Team USA uh, I don't know, tradition. And so I, a lot of people stepped up in a big way. I feel felt like uh, it wasn't really like these people were the leaders, but everyone was really trying to become that leader, and it really helped with the team vibe. A lot of that was Nathan giving him, putting the pressure on Caleb to be that guy. Uh, I know Nathan obviously wants to be that guy still and win those gold medals and be the champion he hates losing, but I could tell he was helping Caleb out because he knew Caleb had a chance to do something special. And so you could see them, the way they talked before the race, that Nathan was really trying to make sure that Caleb was creating that level of dominance that he could provide for our team to for us to thrive as well. Um, he was just telling Caleb to take his time walking out. He's like all these little strategies like take your time walking out. Um, especially if you're at the top seed, you get the least amount of time to kind of take your stuff off and get ready. So he's just telling him to like kind of own that moment. And I think Caleb did a really good job of taking that advice and I think he had plenty of time to not only take his clothes off, but do his prayer, do all that good stuff, and I think a lot of people were intimidated by how well he handled that pressure.